guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Annie, if you've not watched any of my videos before, um, and I am going to do a room tour for you today. So this video was quite highly requested when I moved into my flat in London, which was in November, and quite frankly I just... Well, it's not even like I haven't got round to it, I just haven't done it. I don't really have an excuse for it. Um, and I had loads of things I just wanted to sort out and make the most out of all the storage, and I think I finally nailed it. So, um, considering there's never gonna be like a right, right time to do this, I'm just gonna do it today. Um, and now please excuse me because um, I have just got back from the gym and I'm a bit of a sweaty mess still, but I'm on my way out in about half an hour um, to play a squash match, so I'm not gonna shower in between. So I just thought I'd film this video now, basically. Um, so a little background is I live in a flat in London, which I rent with two of my best friends. These are two girls, or well, I actually went to school with both of them and to uni with them, and now we live together. I live in South London, um, and that's kind of an area where a lot of my friends live as well, so it just seemed like the right area for us. It's really easy to get everywhere. We're on a really good tube line, um, if you know London at all. Um, you usually travel around on tubes um, and it's just always really helpful to be near somewhere that connects you into like central London quite easily. When we moved in we actually had an absolute nightmare trying to find a flat and if any of you have had this problem as well you'll be able to understand. Um, it's really really difficult to rent a flat when you don't have any history of renting so i had a uni house that i rented but it's they're all under your parents names just because realistically most people don't have any money when they're at uni so renting a flat for the first time when you've got no history is really really difficult so we probably put in about 12 offers and this was the only one that we got and at the time i was i wasn't disappointed but i was like oh there were loads more that were more modern in different areas all these things and when we moved in we realised that we'd actually absolutely nailed it and it's in such a lovely location that feels really safe um, and just very friendly which isn't what a lot of locations in London can feel like um, just especially because of the price. So because we were renting this property um, we haven't done anything to it so we came in and it was painted like the colours it was and you can't you can't actually change it just because we're only a year long lease. Um, it came furnished, so it already had quite a lot of furniture in, but I've actually, as you'll see, I brought quite a lot from my bedroom at home just because I obviously work from home and this is my workspace as well as my bedroom um, and there just wasn't actually enough furniture. So for example, I didn't have a desk in my room um, and I needed a desk to work on and then just storage space and chest of drawers. So I literally run my business like from this room so it's kind of essential that I've got enough space to put everything. So like a lot of the houses in London and flats um, all the rooms are different sizes so you'll probably notice that my room is actually very big and that that's completely unusual for London um, and my other flatmates don't have quite as big rooms but I had this room just because I obviously need it for work and things so it sort of made sense me to have the larger bedroom so i've been really really lucky with it and um, i would yeah i would say most flats aren't like this at all but yeah i just thought i'd show you around and you can see sort of how i've made the most out of storage space and everything like that so i hope you find this video a bit interesting please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give it a like if you do enjoy the video and i will get on with the tour so I thought first of all we start off with my bed. So this bed was actually provided by the landlord and as you can see it's sort of like a yellowy pine colour um, which I don't particularly like but it sort of does, serves the purpose anyway. Um, now in terms of duvet covers I've gone for this like dark grey, I think it's like a charcoal brushed cotton which were from Next. I'll try and link everything that I bought um, in the description box if I can still find it or if it was somewhere that I think you'd be able to buy it as well. Um, so yeah it's a brushed cotton which I don't know if you can see, but basically it's a really, really like soft fabric. Now I found inspo for this on Pinterest um, and I just kind of copied it, I guess, <laughs> in a way. Um, and then this bed throw sort of thing I got from TK Maxx. Um, so I don't know what brand this actually is, but it's just kind of a really light gray color, quite a, like a warm gray. Um, and it just kind of lightens the, the darkness of the covers, I guess. So then next up, we've got pillowcases. So these velvety velour ones, they were from Ikea and I've got two in a charcoal color and two in a more of a green color just to add a little bit of, I guess, color to the gray. Um, and then 
These two are from my bed at home, but they were actually TK Maxx, um, which as you'll see, I kind of got quite a lot of my things from. So next up my bedside table. So I've got this really lovely jar light, which I, Elliot actually bought me at uni. Um, I think it's from something like jarlamps.com, but it's an old kiln jar and I absolutely love it. And I've got my Philips alarm clock. I have got a, diff I think it's called a diffuser where I can put different like oils in and it just makes the room smell really nice before bed. Um, a candle that Elliot's family got me. So then I've got this bowl, which I actually had at university as well, which I think I got from a vintage store or maybe like a charity shop or something. And I always have one of these. I just think it's so useful to put things in. So you'll see, I've got like my car keys in and my glasses in, but it'll often have my phone and my purse in as well. And it's just by my door so I can just grab things as I go out. My bedside table is just from Ikea and this is part of a matching set, I guess, with all of the furniture basically in my room um, that I had at my bedroom at home. And then I've just got these drawer segments. So that's kind of where I keep all my sleeping stuff, like lavender sprays, eye masks, just because my blinds are pretty rubbish in this room, earplugs, lavendery things, anything like that. So now we had this bit of my room. This is probably the part that I like the least, to be honest, but, um, I got this hanging rail from Ikea. I think it was about 20 pounds, which is really cheap. And as you'll see, I have like a ton of coats and jackets. I actually just have a ton of clothes anyway. I kind of collect things um, and I'm not very good at getting rid of things as well. So I have that just behind my door, which works quite well. And I can just sort of hang everything from there. And then I've made the most of the rail underneath by finding these storage boxes, which were from Wilco's which they actually collapsed flat. So they were really good for when I was moving in because I could have them collapsed. And then they just act as just, they're like boxes basically. Um, but I've got my spare duvet cover and things in that one. And then I've got some yogury bits in that one, I think. And then my squash bag, which sort of sits in the corner because there's no space for anywhere else. So next up is this bit of like weird dark wood furniture, which when we moved into the flat, uh, these two pieces actually don't, they weren't meant to sit on top of each other, but I just kind of piled them up because they're both really poor uses of space. So one is just basically like a shelving unit, but shelves are really, really deep. And um, so without putting boxes in them, I didn't really know what to do with them. And this is just kind of a really strange cupboard, which also has really deep shelves. Um, but I use it for trainers. And as you can see, I try and keep them organized, but I've actually got too many pairs. So some of them just kind of, sit out like this. So the boxes on this shelf, I actually bought from Wilco's um, and I was just quite lucky in that sort of two large ones and one small one fitted on each shelf. That was just a bit of trial and error really. And I use them for things like bags, some medication one, and then like a toiletries one up there and lots of other things. On top of the shelf, I just sort of have a few random bits really. So I have a cactus, which Kate got me for my 21st birthday, I think. Then I've got a few books that my dad got me for Christmas a few years ago. And then at the front, I've got these three candles that are from And Other Stories that Elliot got me for Christmas. And then my mum got me this gorgeous like vintage mug, if that will focus. And that did have a candle in it, but I actually need to go and get it refilled back in Jasha. So next up is this really tall, I think it's called a tall boy, like a long tall chest of drawers. Um, and there I generally have my tops and some pajamas in there as well. As I said, I do have quite a lot of clothes. And then this one is just full of sort of useful things. And um, then I have a few random ornaments that was actually inherited from my granddad. Um, I think my dad got me that a few years ago. Some boxes from Bali. I've got loads of these incense diffuser things. They're not incense, are they? Just diffusers um, all around my room to make it smell nice. And a load of these candles, which were really, really cheap from Ikea. And I would say they do serve the purpose, but as you can see, they kind of go really gross as well. So I don't know if I would recommend buying them again. So next up, and you can see me in the mirror there. Um, I've got this big mirror, which is from Ikea. And I chose one that was sort of that big. It's actually way wider in real life than it looks here. Um, mainly just because of selfies and Instagram and loads of other things, but it's also a really good mirror, so it's fine. Then I sort of keep a box, which is it's actually just one of those Ikea drawer organizers, um, just there with things that I use day to day. And then I've got this little set of drawers, I guess. Um, and that was from Wilco's and I think it was about five pounds. And I just keep sort of like hair things in one. You'll, as you'll see, I just love everything to be in drawers and really organized. Um, so that's just basically what this one is for. And then on the top, I have some makeup brushes, 
nail stuff and actually these ordinary products which I got in Amsterdam at the weekend and I don't really know what they do yet but I like the look of them so next up I've got my desk area and then maybe to start with the pictures above so it actually says Annie and my dad got me these from I think he maybe got them from Camden Market actually and each one's like a black and white photograph in a different I don't know how to really describe it but the first one's a ladder and then a cinnamon roll I think but I think they just look really cool then my actual desk was just an Ikea purchase and I think it was like the smallest one that they do and um, just I really wanted it to fit in this space and not take up too much extra room but it's just I'll try and show it to you from all angles but it's just quite a useful one really excuse that like amount of wires underneath it but it's got a few drawers and things like that then I just keep a few little plants here, one of which was an Ikea purchase and one of which my mum gave me another incense thing just to make it look nice. Then as you'll see, this is where I do my work. So I've got my laptop, my phone, I don't know really why it's there. And then this is just organizes my hard drive and things like that. And then this is my TV monitor. TV monitor? I think it's just a monitor where I plug my laptop into to sort of make everything a bit bigger so I'm not looking at a small screen all day. And then I've got two drawers and another one here and these are just sort of desk work, like useful things basically organized into those drawers. So I'm actually lucky enough to have a sofa in my room and um, that actually folds out to be a sofa bed. Not that we've had to use that yet, but it's this really horrible kind of bleached black material so I just cover it with these throws and these were all from eBay they're just extra large throws and we use them in our lounge as well to cover the yellow sofas um, and they were just I think they're about nine pounds each and they're just really really useful basically this throw was a TK Maxx purchase I think again when I was at uni and I think it's a real wool and it just sort of ties in nicely with the room so in terms of my blinds and curtains i know the light's actually facing the wrong way so you're not going to be able to see these properly but i've got these kind of strange wooden blinds um and then white curtains which are fine but they don't really keep any light out but these lights that you can see hanging on them i got these from ikea and they just look so nice at light uh, at light time but night time um and they're just sort of like almost like fairground lights they're really really chunky um yeah, this is what they look like up close again i don't think they were very expensive so next up i've actually got another one of these wilco storage boxes and this is actually just elliot's clothes basically because he comes to stay quite often um and i just wanted a space that i could put his clothes and they don't really fit in my wardrobe to be quite honest with you um so that's just one it's another one but it's just like a long thin one rather than two square shapes and it just sort of fits perfectly in that space and i've got my laundry basket which isn't very interesting um then this piece of furniture again was from my bedroom at home and it's just an ikea set of drawers um and that just has like underwear and then the second two are gym clothing so i've got it kind of co color coordinated in there and then these are all sports bras and sports tops and squash um clothing as well then on top of these set of drawers i just have this um it's just kind of like a random picture but it sort of reminded me of my great aunt um she was an artist so i just really liked the image basically um and then another incense thing another one of these kind of rubbish ikea candles a cactus and then this little I think it's called like a terranian thing that elliot got me a few years ago i love like weird accessory bits um and clutter basically then this little section is kind of just jewelry really so i've got this jewelry stand which i bought from a random shop near my house for about five pounds um my house at home and i just kind of hang bracelets and necklaces on here the only thing that i would say though is that most of my jewelry is sterling silver and it kind of goes a bit brown being left out here so i don't know if i'd really recommend having it all on display but then it's got this little shelf bit at the bottom where i put things i've just taken off um just so it doesn't get lost and then this little cat ring holder that my friend got me which is really cute and i love cats these boxes which were from sri lanka then a jewelry box here which i've got just a ton of earrings in and then this little glass one which has a few bracelets in as well so this is the thing that I probably get most questions on in my room. It's quite often in the back of my videos. And basically it's a black hanging rail from Ikea. And I found these sort of plant holders, um, which are just made from string basically and just hooked over the edge. Um, and I've got a plant in each one. I think those were just from B&Q. And then I've got this light in the middle. I'll just turn it on actually. 
And I've got a light in the middle, which I have on at nighttime quite often, which was a present from my mum that I've actually just strung along the side. But I think, well, that's me falling over then. <laughs> um, but I just think it breaks up the room really nicely. Um, it was an idea that I got from Pinterest. Um, but I just, yeah, I just love it really. And I just think it's a bit different. And especially because it's a big room, I think it just works really well. So this plant was an Ikea purchase and it's kind of been, we've had a love-hate relationship really. Um, I kind of figured I was watering it too often. Apparently online it says it needs kind of quite a lot of water about every two weeks. Um, and I was watering it like basically every day. So I've kind of got to grips with how to look after him now. Um, but some of the leaves are looking a bit strange. That's a new one though. So I'm thinking it is relatively healthy. But yeah, that was from Ikea and I think it was probably about 20 pounds or something. And then that basket was also from Ikea, which I just thought gives a bit more like a natural look to the room. I really love having all the plants in my room. I feel like the greenery just kind of, I don't know, it's just a good vibe really. So I've got quite a few of those as you'll see. So I'm lucky enough to have this lovely fireplace in my room, which I really like because it just makes it feel really homely. So I've got these two long candles in the actual fireplace, which were just there when I moved in, but I've just sort of kept them there. And then on top, I've got a load more of these rubbishy Ikea candles. <laughs> this one, which I quite like, which was actually a thing from, from Sainsbury's or Tesco. Um, but it's one of those big, like three wick ones, which is really nice. And then this little strange kind of tree plant, which I think is really cute from Ikea. A little A ornament and then another incense thing. So then this is my wardrobe. And again, this just came with the flat. Um, and it's a bit flimsy to be honest but it sort of serves a purpose and i quite like the color of it although i do think it clashes with the like yellowy cream walls um but these were actually outdoor lights which i had at home which i bought and i've just kind of pinned them on top um, and they just look quite nice at night time um, and then i just have my standard all my clothes hang up in here so that is pretty much my London bedroom tour finished. I just wanted to add as well though that I do have a probably about four under bed storage boxes which I find really, really useful as well just to maximize space if you do have a little bit of room under your bed to put them. But anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, I'd be happy to do a QA and a on like living in London or anything like that if you guys want. So do leave me a comment down below. But apart from that, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video video.